that is given by Virginia Henderson and she is also known as first lady of nursing and she is also known as 20th century Florence Nightingale and the first truly international nurse. The background information regarding her, she is born in November 30th, 1897 in Kansas City, Missouri, attended the U.S. Army School of Nursing during World War I where she graduated in 1921. She later received a Bachelor's of Science degree in 1932 and a Master's degree in 1934 from Teachers College, Columbia University. Afterwards, she became part of the faculty. Then, she have done Bachelor's of Science in 1932 and Master's of Arts in 1934. She have done work as a faculty between the year 1934 to 1948. Then, studying with Henderson, in 1939, she revised Bertha Harmer's textbook on the principles and practice of nursing. It became widely used by nurses throughout the world. Many could still study with her without leaving their homes because she is very nicely explained everything regarding textbook of principles and practice of nursing. Then. In 1953, she joined the Yale School of Nursing faculty. She remained there for 40 years. And while there, she published various kind of activities, nurses, nursing research. In 1964, a survey and assessment published by her directed a 12-year project entitled Nursing Studies Index. It is included four volumes. volumes. Her most important writing, Principles and Practice of Nursing, is considered the 20th century equivalent of Nightingale's book. Then background information, at the age of 75, she decided to direct her career to international teaching and speaking. She died March 19, 1996, when she was 98 years old. Some honors that were bestowed on her, the first one, the Sigma Theta, Tau International Library was named in her honor. She was selected to the American Nurses Association Hall at fame of Fame. She held honorary degree from 13 universities. She is very intelligent. The definition of nursing, which we have learned from beginning of our nursing. The unique function of the nurse is to assist the individual sick or well in the performance of those activities contributing to health or it is recovery or to peaceful death that he would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge and to do this in such a way as to help him gain independence as rapidly as possible. Then there are meta paradigm in her theory that is first one is person. It defined person defined as a patient and individual who require assistance at the time of disease to achieve health and independence or in some cases or a peaceful death. Introduced to the concept of the mind and body of a person as inseparable for a person to function to the utmost he must be able to maintain physiological and emotional balance. Then the next paradigm is health. Viewed as a quality of life, health is a quality of life, uh, uh, quality of life and absent of diseases. It requires independence and interdependence. Health is a multi-factor phenomenon because health is joined the various kind, social, physical, intellectual, religious, these kind of phenomena are there. Influenced by external and internal factors which play independent and interdependent roles in achieving health. Emphasis on prioritizing health promotion more than care of the sick. Then the third paradigm is environment. It is very important for a healthy individual to control the environment but as one becomes ill, this ability is affected because the ill person do not control on the environment and they are incapable not capable to do their own care it becomes the nurse's responsibility to manage the patient's surroundings to protect him from any harm or injury a nurse must be educated about safety and aware of different social customs and religious practices to assess dangers then the fourth paradigm is nursing 
Nurses function independently from the physician, but they must promote the treatment plan prescribed by the physician. Day 24 are provide care to the patient. Nurses help both the sick and healthy individual from newborn to dying. Knowledgeable in biological and social sciences and must have the ability to assess basic human needs. Then there are 14 basic needs of the person given by Virginia Henderson. The first one is breathing normally, eating and drinking adequately, eliminating body wastes, moving and maintaining a desirable position, sleeping and resting, selecting suitable clothes, maintaining body temperature by adjusting clothing and modifying the environment, keeping the body clean and well groomed. There are another avoiding dangers in the environment and avoiding injuries, injuring others. Sorry by mistake, there is a mistakes in numbers. Communicating with others in expressing emotions, needs, fears or opinions, worshipping according to one's faith, working in such a way that one feels a sense of accomplishment, playing or participating in various forms of recreation, learning, discovering or satisfying the curiosity that leads to normal development and health and using available health facilities. There are 14 basic needs that are very necessary in human life. A nurse's role, substitutive, when the nurse acting for a person, supplementary, when assisting a person, complementary, working with the person. I hope you have clear with this theory. If you feel any kind of difficulty, kindly inform me. I will surely help you. Thank you.